the main types of Salado polychrome pottery that we would find in, in the Hoakam region would be Gila polychrome and Tonto polychrome. Uh, the new types that have been defined as a result of this project include Cliff polychrome, Nine Mile polychrome, Phoenix polychrome, Los Muertos polychrome, and Cliff white on red. And um, the difference between Cliff polychrome and Gila polychrome would be that um, two different design fields are present on a cliff polychrome bowl. And also there's a particular shape that's associated with cliff polychrome, a shape of bowl, and it's also associated with a number of the other late types. Uh, we refer to these as recurved bowls. So um, the way they're shaped is uh, as a regular salad bowl might be, uh, sort of hemisphere, and then the uh, lip or rim of the bowl flares out. So you kind of goes in and then out again. Um, with cliff polychrome, there are two design fields. There's painted decoration on the inside, right up next to the rim, and then there's a, a thick black line that separates that zone of decoration from a larger zone of decoration that's down in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, another type would be nine mile polychrome. Again, it has that recurve bowl form, and it has the upper design field of black and white design that you would see on cliff polychrome, but the rest of the inside of the vessel is red in color. And most of the painted decoration is actually on the outside of the vessel. Um, Phoenix polychrome is a lot like nine mile polychrome, where the exterior of the vessel is where all the decorate most of where all the decoration is actually in the case of Phoenix polychrome. And the entire interior is uh, a red surface. And it again has that recurved bowl shape. Uh, Los Muertos polychrome is different from all the others in that um, Los Muertos um, decoration appears on lots of different vessel forms. It occurs on bowls of various shapes, it appears on jars, uh, but it's very distinctive in that uh, the red paint that we see is used on a white background along with the black paint rather than being the background of a design like we saw in the earlier types. And these types sort of form a sequence such that cliff polychrome first appeared around 1350. Uh, Nine mile polychrome and phoenix polychrome occurred in the Phoenix Basin around 1375. And then only in the western Salado area, actually in the area that we talk about as the Hoakam core region, uh, and a, a few other places, we find Los Muertos polychrome. And that starts at 1400, very late. 